everyone welcome back to the channel yes ladies and gentlemen we are joined by the gorgeous tanya Hi. we are watching season one episode 10 of friends now i'm going to read synopsis because you said it doesn't really matter with this at all yeah no mm, yeah the one with the monkey the gang the gang makes and then breaks a pact to celebrate a pact to celebrate New Year's Eve without dates. Lonely Ross, oh, that's a good name for him. Lonely Ross gets a roommate, a monkey, named Marcel. Okay. Interesting. Of course, out of everyone, Ross is the one that gets the monkey. Mm -hmm. The monkey's probably... Yeah, the, the monkey's probably less goofy than he is. Mm -hmm. Probably. <sighs> or maybe not. Or maybe... Right, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get right into it. I'm looking forward to this very much. A lot of people were saying, don't take this serious. Just laugh at this. It's a, it's basically just comedy. That's how it is. It's not to be taken serious, but there's some life lessons you can get out of this <laughs> as well. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right into it. Remember, if you want to check this out in full without the watermark, a lot of people complain about the watermark, but if you want it over on YouTube, then you, you get the watermark, okay? No watermark, it's over on Patreon in full, okay? Everyone on Patreon gets this in full without the watermark. And people that complain over on YouTube, you, you have to deal with the watermark or it's not going to be on YouTube at all, guys. We know what we're doing. My editor knows what we're doing. So, guys, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Come on, mm -hmm. let's go. All right, let's go. The one with the monkey. Guys, there's uh, somebody I'd like you to meet. Marcel, you want to say hi? No, no, I don't. She doesn't like monkeys? <laughs> I thought she was going to talk about the monkey. Hey, that monkey's uh. got a rush on his head. <laughs> 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 live with you, like, in your apartment? You just get a roommate. reach a certain age, having a roommate is just kind of pathetic. <laughs> 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 so that's, that's perfect. Four claps, ready? <laughs> I thought it was drums. <laughs> Right, thank you. So she's got a whole pile of songs about her mum's suicide and then one about a snowman. Yeah. Uh, Completely yeah. related. Totally related. Oh, Phoebe, I swear. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear. Yeah, that's Phoebe. <laughs> Welcome to the snowman. <laughs> oh, no, but with the snowman. <laughs> Manager. <laughs> He's not even jolly. It's all political. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be one of his tough. Do you guys know what you're doing for New Year's? What is wrong with New Year's? Desperate scramble to find anything with lips just so you can have somebody to kiss when the fog drops. Hello <laughs> is gonna be in Rome. I'll be just as pathetic as the rest of you. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> I say this year, no dates, just the six of us. Oh, uh, no, again. Again, sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry you didn't hear that first little bit. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I thank my hand up. I'm hoping it won't happen again. <laughs> but with me, I do some Ross things. Mm hmm What do you mean, mm hmm You're totally Ross, but you have Chandler's joke, dad jokes. Ah, okay. Okay. Like when he said the monkey has a rose in his ass, I was like, that's something Dylan would say. <laughs> that's why I laughed. <laughs> Back by popular demand, Miss Phoebe Buffet. <clears throat> I want to start with a song that means a lot to me this time of year. I made a man with eyes of coal. How was I supposed to know that my mom was dead in the kitchen? Whoa! I thought we were talking about the snowman. Ashes, even her eyelashes, sing in a little yellow jar. <laughs> I think they're sad and depressed. <sighs> and now, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Is it something that you would like to share with the entire group? You guys going home with a note. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying to my friend that I thought you were the most beautiful woman that I'd ever seen in, in my life. Uh, oh, Anna. Anna was the most uh, beautiful woman. <laughs> That he'd ever seen in his life are uh, luminous with a kind of a delicate grace. And uh, that, that, that's when he started yelling. <laughs> <laughs> that's so delicate anyway. 
Okay, we're gonna take a short break. <laughs> I think that guy's going home with more than a note. <laughs> uh, he's going to have to leave a note on the side table in the next morning. <laughs> I can't believe he hasn't kissed you yet. On my sixth date with Paolo? I mean, he had already named both my breasts. Yeah, right. Oh, did I just share too much? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 mates, right? They've back in the day. They was they used to say, "Yeah, I I, I named my own private region. Yeah, my own my own Willie." Mm -hmm. And and a lot of them were saying, "Yeah, yeah, I named mine this. Yeah, I named mine that." And they're like, "Dylan, what'd you name yours?" And I'm like, "Willie," <laughs> <laughs> because it's like people people are so weird sometimes with that, like. Like, girls have, some girls have certain names for their breasts that their husbands use or, or boyfriends use. And males have, or maybe it's a male thing, because males also have certain names for their cars. Yeah. Willie is short for William, yeah? Yeah. So I was, I don't know who I was talking to, and I said, in, I was talking in Spanish, and then I said something about Willie, because with Drake, we call his private parts Willie, Willie yeah? yeah and i said no not Willie. and they looked at me like seriously you're allowing him to name his thing already and he's only like five years old and he's naming it like a a, a, a person's name like william and i was like <laughs> no <laughs> that's not how it is <laughs> i think it's romantic did you ever see an officer and a gentleman he's kind of like the guy i went to see that with <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Except he's smarter and gentler and sweeter. I just want to be with him all the time. Special occasion. Uh-oh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a You're gonna break the pack. She's gonna break the pack. No, oh. no. Yeah, could I just... Yeah, because I already asked Janice. Pack. I snapped, okay? I couldn't handle the pressure and I snapped. I'm not saying it was a good idea. I'm saying I snapped. I saw it What the heck? Too many jokes. Must <laughs> <laughs> mock Joey. God, you're killing me. <laughs> I would say, where where do you think Santa keeps his candy cane? <laughs> Bazinga! Oh. I hate myself. <laughs> Look, he's playing with my spatulas again. She would hate kids. Do you always have to bring him here? We're at our first fight this morning. <laughs> with a monkey? I said some things that I didn't mean. He threw some feces. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you're gonna work late, I can look in on it for you. Oh, that'd be great. But if you do, make sure it seems like you're there to see him. Okay, but if he asks, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so far, this has been brilliant. Today's particle accelerators are nowhere near powerful enough. Um, were you planning on kissing me ever? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer would be. Yes. I want it to be this phenomenal kiss because, well, because it's, it's you. We've reached a place where it's just got to be one of those things where I just, like, sweep everything off the table and throw you down on it. Sure, but you should just do it. Just sweep and throw me. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing these mics off the table. <laughs> no, they're very expensive. Don't do it. I did you see? I didn't even go anywhere near it in the end. I'm sorry. Okay, it's just that Chandler has somebody, and Phoebe has somebody. I... Fun Bobby, your ex-boyfriend, Fun Bobby. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh there's no thrill. Oh. <laughs> there. There it is. Three of you now are going to have a date. Four. Four. Not five. Five. Yeah, I met this really hot single mom at the store. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be the only one standing there alone with the ball drops. You've got the monkey. Oh, the one you know, with the monkey. No, no, this is so not what I needed right now. It's Marcel. Shutting me down, you know? Such a blast with him the other night. Play, we watch TV, that juggling thing is amazing. What juggling thing? Because I figured you taught him that. No. He only made his ball up socks. And a melody. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, hi. Have you seen David? Have you seen him tell him to? Pack his bags, we are going to Minsk. It's in Russia. I know where Minsk is. We got the rest. Three years. Ooh. That's tough. Ooh. Poor Phoebe. Now she won't have another man. 
sweeping the table off for her in a while. What are you doing here? Well, Max told me about mints. This is so exciting. It would be even more exciting if we were going. Tell her, David, I want to stay here and make out with my girlfriend. That's because you don't have one. So you're really not going? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just... You tell him, girl. You, you decide. Oh, don't do that. Please. Oh, no, no. no yeah. Okay, just... uh, stay. 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 He's so good at that. It was Max's stuff. Yeah. So stuff him. Exactly. <laughs> he can go and get stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 Look, our friend Janice is back. I told you. Janice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vividly. Hi, Sandy. Sandy, hi. Come on in. Oh. <laughs> you brought your kids. That's okay, right? Party. That thing is not coming in here. This is how you greet guests at a party? <laughs> I'm thinking your new girlfriend wouldn't urinate on my coffee table. <laughs> he was more embarrassed about that than anyone. And for him to have the courage to walk back in here. All right, just keep him away from me. Catch up with you later. <laughs> Whoa! Giovanni, Flight, are you okay? Wait, where's Paolo? Jerk Mrs. Flight. I'm at the airport, getting into a cab, when this woman starts yelling at me. Something about how it was her cab first. And then the next thing I know, she's just starts. Far up. Poor her. Yeah. It was probably the first time I ever mentally undressed an elf. That's dirty. Yeah. Hey kids. Look at him. I'm not saying he's to spend the whole evening with me, but at least check in. There you are. Got away from me. But you found me. Let's take our picture. Why does she speak like this? <laughs> 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 I hope she doesn't speak Everybody like that in real life, the actress. Bum bum. Hey, Grand Bobby. Dying about two hours ago. There I am. Hey, Fun Bobby. Whoa, who died? Someone literally died. Please. It's gonna be an open casket, you know? Oh no. Fun Bobby's turned into Good sad Bobby. Mm -hmm. Reunited in glitter. <laughs> Janice? Janice? Mm. Hey, Janice. Oh, no. Oh, no. You Still taking pictures? What are you doing? Did you give me your last chance with me? Oh, you did. Okay. Yoko, I decided to go to Minsk without you. It will be the same. But it will still be Minsk. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You belong in this. You can't stay here just because of me. Because if I go, you have to break up with you, and I can't break up. Oh, yes, 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 you can. I love you, but my work is my life, and that's what I have to do right now. And I say, your work? Your work? <laughs> and then you say, oh, I can't live in this area. And I say, no! Oh, oops, sorry. And then you put your arm Oh. <laughs> and then you tell me that you love me, and you'll never forget me. And you have to go because you don't want to. Start the new year with me if you can't finish it. I'm gonna miss you. You're a scientist guy. Wow, what a roller coaster of emotions for them all this episode, huh? Far out. Daddy Joey? Kids. Kids. <laughs> Please kiss me at midnight. Aren't you wishing Janice was back? You seen Sandy? Uh, she's in Monica's bedroom getting it on with Max, that scientist geek. Everybody on Paul is going. What? The Paul is terrific. And the moment of joy is upon us. Look at that nose deep. That thing worked out. So that, that, that filthy whore, Joey invites her as his date, and she ends up going in a bedroom with another dude. Mm-hmm. What a bimbo. Mm -hmm. What an absolute bimbo. <laughs> Not everybody's happy. Hey, Bobby. <laughs>
Here, I'm no math whiz, but I do believe there are three girls and three guys right here. Oh, I'm kissing anyone. So I'm kissing everyone? No, no, no. You can't kiss Ross. That's your brother. All right, somebody kiss me. So, oh, they're so funny. Me. Somebody kiss me tonight. <laughs> Is that sum up their relationship with each other? Basically. What he just said? What Ross was talking about at the end there? That gives us a hint between him and Rachel. No, because he doesn't pick his her fleet. No. And change her diapers. Right. He says it about being in relation well being in love with someone when they don't love you back mm -hmm. and then she's like i don't think that b wrote my tooth as in she didn't care what yeah. he was saying yeah so that just shows me hmm that's interesting that's just, very very interesting when i watched this episode i realized that the you know we have a tradition ross, here in Spain. ross is sad no no, we, no um, i knew that before uh, <laughs> it's that but funny okay no we have a tradition in spain to, that we have to eat 12 grapes yeah before new year's mm -hmm. and i think someone that was very lonely and wasn't kissing every anyone decided to invite to, to invent that tradition they said Probably. oh i never kissed anyone you know what i'm gonna make everyone eat grapes that way mm. no one kisses anyone <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and i was like oh, i bet okay. you in the next 40 years, they're probably like, yeah, look, this was invented back when the C-19 was in, uh, came aboard because they wanted them not to be so close to each other, yeah? And it's like, no, Sonny, they were back in 1915. <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoyed this episode. It was really, really funny. Um, at the end, there was a bit shocked between Joey and Chandler. Uh, that was a bit shocking, but that just shows you that uh, they have a man crush on each other, and, <laughs> and it's right there. It's evident right there, and now you know why they're roommates. He was being annoying. Somebody kiss me. Somebody kiss me. Well, he got his kiss, didn't he? Oh, there you go. Yeah, can't complain about it. There you go. There you go. Uh, Ross is very unlucky, though, because out of everyone, Rachel had the sore <laughs> thing, yeah? And he, that could have been his chance. That's what I'm saying, man. Like they, they're so unlucky. They're so unlucky a lot of the times. Yeah. But I think that's what makes this TV series so great, because a lot of people can relate to a lot of these things. Some things are a bit far fetched. Some things are a bit extravagant and overboard. But a lot of the things here, a lot of females and males can relate to a lot mm -hmm. of the things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So with the friendships and not necessarily. It, everyone can relate to having that many friends like best friends because they're all best friends mm -hmm. yeah not everyone can relate to having that many best friends and they all stand each other because a lot of friends can't stand to live with each other yeah and that's the truth they don't become friends anymore mm -hmm. seriously no that's what makes it really good because i think everyone in inside wishes they 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 had something like this yes they had they were i wish so i had close. a monkey they were so close to to their friends like that in such a way where they they also pick on each other sometimes but they love each other and they try to help True. each other all the time so i think everyone inside is like oh, i wish i was in that situation you know when i was younger i always wished i had a monkey that could do like tricks and all sorts of things yeah i wish i had I had a monkey when i was younger that was my you could say it was like a dream of mine yeah oh, i wished gosh. i wished for it I absolutely wish for it. I wished for a monkey. <sighs> yeah. And you got me? You could say, yeah. Yeah, I've got a monkey. <laughs> I'm a monkey. I can't steal that. <laughs> you have fleas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you got a big red ass, yes. <laughs> no, you don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this ending yet? Or? <laughs> yeah, please, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys i absolutely enjoyed this it's very very funny each and every single episode is getting better and better um but there is a storyline between things but not really it's just a lot of like i said a lot of things that people can relate to with inside of the tv series that's what makes it so great mm -hmm. i feel so yeah. anyway guys let us know in the comment section what you think remember if you want to go check it out in full it will be up here 
up there or down in the description down below without no watermark everyone over on patreon thank you very much stay tuned for in a few hours time you will see a movie come out on patreon everyone thank you very much for tuning in and i'll speak to you next time bye guys bye